All right, welcome to making an Adobe Home. If you'll look, you can see that if you'll go to View and Toolbars, choose a large set and click Close, your toolbar will look like the one I have. Now, the next thing that we're going to do is reach for the Rectangle tool. We'll make it a little bit wider in the front than it is long in the back. We'll release it. And you can leave the person here, or you can remove them. It's up to you. I'm going to raise this up a little higher. It's going to be a building. I'm going to tilt down just a little bit so you can see and zoom out. Now the next thing we're going to do is we're going to get the offset tool. Using the offset tool, we're going to come in. We're going to have a fairly wide area at the top. Use the push-pull tool, and we're going to press down a little bit. And now we're going to create a, a few details in the top. Using the pencil tool, I'm going to come over here and I'll draw. I'll, I'll move in a little bit so you can see a little better. And I want these to be fairly wide. We'll make one there. Come over here, make sure that I'm on the green axis. Put another one here. And I'm going to use my hand tool, where you can type hand, H to get that. And we're going to come over to the other side and do something very similar. We'll come over here on the green axis. Make this fairly wide. Again, I want to make sure that I'm on the green. Come on, where did the green go? There it is. And I'll use the hand and I'll zoom out just a little bit, and I'll put one more in here. Using the pencil tool, I'll come over about right here. Now, the detail that we're going to add here, as I'll pull it up so you can see, is we're going to pull this down using the push-pull tool. And the first one we're going to come down with, right about here, we don't want to go past this. The second one, We'll bring it down, and I'm going to come all the way across to here. You can see that I am deferring the measurement. I'll do the same thing, and I'll do this, and it doesn't matter which one you go to. All right, next we're going to go to the front of the building. We'll adjust this so that we can see the front pretty well, and we're going to place a door. So I'll start out, I guess really... I'll just come over here to the center and get an idea where the center of this is. I'll draw a little line. I'll erase that later. And then I will come over and make a door. That looks pretty good. You can see the golden triangle there, the golden section. And now we're going to do a little bit different than we did before. We're going to do the two-point arc. Click click and then raise this up so that it's on the face with the blue axis and choose an arch that you would like. The next thing I'll do is I'll come in with the erasing tool and I will erase the little line and I'll erase this. Then we're coming in with the rectangles. No we're not. We're going to do something different. We're going to use circular windows. So we'll start out over here and I will draw a circular window. I'll bring it across, and I'll draw another circular window on this side. And then we're going to put trim around it. Go to the offset tool, choose this, come around. We'll erase that bottom in a minute. There we go. Using the offset tool, let's see, control Z to undo if you make a mistake like I do sometimes. And then we're going to put the outside on. I guess I undid the other uh, side, so I'll come back and fix it. This one doesn't look quite wide enough for me, so if I make a mistake, I'll go back and I'll undo it back to the tool, and we'll try it again. There we go. That looks pretty good. We're ready for the erasing, and we'll erase the bottom, and then we'll do some fun stuff here. Uh, I suppose we should put some materials on here. That would look really nice. The first material that we'll go with, pick the paint bucket, 
is we will pick, uh, let's see, I think I want to go with sand. So I'm going to choose sand, that's under landscaping and fencing. And the sand will make a very nice adobe finish. So I'm going to come in and I'm going to just start click, clicking all the areas that need to have the adobe finish put on. And sometimes you have to make adjustments. Or you have to change the perspective you have in order to make sure that you're getting it to look good. And as you can see that we're almost there. And I will orbit it back. Now we're ready for a couple small additions to finish this off. Well, the first thing we're going to do is we're going to choose a color. And I'm looking for a turquoise, which is a type of blue. And if I look in here, there it is. There's a dark turquoise. I'll choose that. Uh, there's a medium turquoise. And I'll just go with the one that says turquoise on here. And I'll do the trim, the trim, and the trim. A lot of Adobe things have turquoise in them uh, as far as a good color. And now we're going to go to a glass and mirror. We'll find a color that we think might look good. In this case, I'm going to go with a translucent gray. You pick something that you would like. Then for the door, uh, I will choose a color. Oh, let's see. I'll pick kind of a, a rustic type color. Maybe uh, this blue looks real good. I'll put it on. Uh, I will add a handle for the door. And let's see what we got there. You know what? I think we're going to stop right there. That looks real good. Thank you.